to deal with that that's under some government control. And whatever that government control is, they clearly didn't feel that Phil Coulson should be running there. He should be the director. Now, this is something that's actually very interesting, is that Coulson, we've always seen him in a position in the government. That's where we were first introduced to him in the movies. He's always been with the What was he? Because he does walk around in Iron Man saying, I'm with the Strategic Homeland and Advanced Force and Logistics Division. But it's, it's something governmental. He's always been, we don't know, he's always been kind of something governmental or something like that. Shieldish. This is the first time he's been away from that. It's, it's the first time he's been really without that kind of structure. So can you kind of tell us about what that's going to be for him if he doesn't have his... Well, it's funny you say that because I had that same question early on. I never thought Shield was. The thing about Shield was it was never a government organization. It's never been a United States government organization. The answer to the World Council, it's global. It was never that clear who was overseeing them except the World Council. Nick Fury seemed to be running it, and and yet Bill Coulson felt like a part of the bureaucracy of that. Who was uh, Nick Fury's right hand guy? And then. He was given a team after his close call during the Avengers, and uh, and uh, and he was working for Nick Fury, and then Shield was destroyed in the Winter Soldier, and he was tasked with putting it back together. So now Shield is coming back together, but I still think he's just an agent of Shield. He's always been a covert op for an agency that was tasked with protecting the world from things it didn't know about or that we hadn't yet discovered, both from our planet and others. So, um, at the, they jumped, the six months jump forward. Yeah. Uh, Coulson looked very defeated when he was sort of chasing da uh, yeah, Daisy, he was sort of chasing her, and it looked like he didn't think that was ever going to happen. Do you think Coulson's given up on her? What, uh, no, I mean, or he's finally. chasing her, but what we see in that epilogue at the end of that episode is she's got her quake power so down now, she can fly almost. She can, she just hulk leaps. So she's, she's proving to be really difficult for uh, Mac and Colson to track down. So has he given up on her, like, ever getting her back in the fold? That's really what I want. That doesn't strike, that's not the Bill Coulson I know. If he has a superpower, it is his loyalty to those he cares about. Can you talk a little bit about Max's That was such beautiful stuff. The stuff where he was trying to bring her in and she was hurting him and threatening to kill him and he wouldn't fight back. I thought that was just amazing. Writing is all right. Oh, uh, yeah. But we'll tell you, you know, I said something over there with the revelation. We were just talking over there. The dynamic is interesting. It's Colson and May. And they were kind of like parental figures to Daisy. And then Mac has been brought into that family as like a big brother to Daisy. And now it's like she's like she's she's a family member is gone. A family member has rejected us and is gone. And from Matt's perspective, I think he always sees her as his little sister. Regardless of what she's not, or supposedly not. And like Wilson, I think he's going to be able to fight to protect her. Can you talk about the dynamics between Matt and Wilson? Because you're spending a lot of time around the epilogue, and Matt has always been the one who challenges Wilson in a way that a lot of the other characters do. So, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> 
you just cut my arm off and feel like you're <laughs> At least you can do is maybe. What's your point of view? Yeah. I, I think, you know, the thing is, I think, uh, I would say towards the end of the season, uh, we got so much respect for each other, even though we were at odds. And it's carried over into the season three. The match has challenges, challenges right now. It's a point where they have a common ground in terms of days. Uh, we have mutual respect. And you feel real bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just like, what do you mean? I saved your life. Um, yeah, I agree. By the end of that, by the end of that, um, that arc, the choppity chop, I think they kind of ironed out a lot of their differences, so much so that when Colson knew he had to go broke himself to take out his girlfriend's assassin. Uh, he put uh, Mac in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I thought he did it. I was watching for it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's the new director. Except, no. There's a scene where it's Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs>